Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today is day four of our JavaScript 30 days of challenge. And the problem of the today is apply transform over each element in array. And let's zoom it. Yeah. Okay, we are given an array arr and a mapping function fn and we have to return a new array with transformation applied to each element and the return array should be created such that the return array ith element is equals to the function array i and i and we have to solve this without built-in array dot map method and here is an example input array uh, which is 1 to 3 at initial and a function and the function name is pulse 1 and it's accepting n and returning n plus 1 so it's accepting 1 and returning 2 2 and returning 3 3 and returning 4 so our new array will be from 2 3 and 4 you can read the explanation here similarly example 2 uh, the function is uh, returning n plus i so basically first i is 0 so it will return 1 plus 0 1 again i is 1 it will return 2 plus 1 3 and again i is 2 it will return 3 plus 2 which is 5 here okay so we can do this uh, by using array.map method but we are restricted to use in this problem so but you can read about array.map method here uh, yeah. Uh, the map method creates a new array populated with the results of calling a uh, provided function on every element in the calling array. Okay. You can read this. I highly suggest you to go to this official docs. So, yeah, here we have add a one, and these are the four elements, and we are passing a function to map. So, basically, this is a callback function. If you don't know callback, you can also read. Uh, in this official docs mdn so yeah added array one dot map and x and returning x into 2 basically at the beginning x is 1 and this will return 1 into 2 2 uh, next x is 4 it will return multiplied by 2 8 9 into 2 18 16 into 2 13 so this is a callback function we can just simply let's name a function cv and we can define treaty that just passing each array element to another function nothing more so let's create a function cv which will accept x as parameter and will return but now uh, x is to 2 so let me add a return statement here yeah, this will return x into 2 and it should work same way. Yeah, 2, 8, 18 and 32. So, it's basically just passing array element to this callback function. And we can replace this with this cb named function with just anonymous arrow function. This will also work exactly same. Yeah. And you can read more about this map which is accepting callback function and callback function and this argument and about all these parameters here. And now if you wonder what a callback function is, you can read this. So the callback function is just a, another function that is passed to a function. And with that expectation that the callback function will be called at appropriate time. So, yeah, you can see this code. We have th three functions, the do1, do2, do3, and do3, and the do operation. First, we are calling the do operation function, and result1 will store do step1, and passing argument result. So, at beginning, if we pass, uh, if result is 0, then do a step passing 0 and it will return 0 plus 1 1 again result will store do a step 1 now result is 1 and 1 plus 2 which is 3 again 3 plus 3 which will give 6 and 
after using the same code with callback functions we will uh, get same result here do a step one and passing this is basically result which is initial zero and this is a callback function uh, yeah this this is a callback function so if you wonder about this syntax let's debug it yes so basically uh, after calling do operation function we are at do a step one and now uh, dive into it the result cost result and uh, now result is undefined and after execution of this result should be 0 plus 1 so yeah result is 1 and now result will be passed to callback function in this case what is our callback function our callback function is this function this and yeah uh, now deep into it yeah now result is 1 and do a step 2 so inside our callback function we are calling do a step 2 which will also accept an argument and a callback function and for this do a step 2 this is callback function and here uh, now result should be in it we passed 1 and 1 plus 2 will be 3 so now result is 3 again for do a step 3 this is our callback function so now just call it so currently in init plus 3 will give us 6 so now result is 6 and yeah you will get this result here hope you understand this and as you see we are just calling 3 uh, we using 3 callbacks and if we use more callbacks our code will incline towards right and this is called pyramid of doom or callback hill and to avoid this we use promises uh, maybe we can see in day 9 or day 10 whatever it is you can also read our promises so for today this is enough callback and array.map so yeah now just come back to our question this is our function map and we have to implement it and it is accepting array and a function this is a callback function and you know what callback function is and how to work with it so just let's array dot length and just iterating our array and changing our array ith element to function array i and passing it index and this should work fine yeah let's run it yeah it worked and if you you can also use for in loop i in arr and doing same thing but there is a catch uh, here i's property of index which is a uh, key, key if you run something like this uh, this will concatenate yeah you see here the at the beginning index is 0 which is key is 0 next key is 1 next key is 2 instead of adding it it just concatenated it 1 plus uh, 1 plus 0 after concatenation 1 0 2 1 and to avoid this we can convert the type to number and you can also read about type conversion in javascript now let's run it yeah now it's passed and let's submit it this should work fine yeah it got accepted and beat 32 percent okay so hope you understand this and what's the time complexity uh, for every call we are iterating over our array 
and we are not using any extra space so time complexity of this code will be b of n where n is side of the array and space complexity is big of one constant space so yeah that's all for today video if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing this channel if you have not yet and also like this video and see you in next day of javascript challenge tomorrow so thanks for watching